Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wave preview. NASCAR Authentics, this is Wave number 5. Um, this is the Petty 75 Years of Racing. So just like they did with the 75th Wins and the, I think the Hendrix, uh, Hendrick Wave, they got a Petty Wave now, which, I mean, I'm kind of not surprised given they've done this already with other Waves. And they also have a Gold Series pack that I would much rather get than this. So, um, yeah, pretty interesting about how this works. So, the first car here is the 75 Years of Racing car. This one's kind of cool. It's got 42 on the side, 43 on the roof, and I'm assuming some other number on the other side. Uh, so that's kind of a weird little paint scheme. It's got, looks like different paint schemes kind of mixed in. You can see, uh... Richard Petty's uh, logo there, or not logo, but the uh, blue, you can see like the gray and just different types of uh, design there. So I'm assuming that's just a mixture, kind of like how uh, Johnson ran back in 2020 with the uh, uh, Darlington throwback. It was him, Petty, and Earnhardt, that kind of like that three-way scheme. Uh, this might be kind of that same thing going on, but... I just see a bunch of peg warmers. Yeah, it's cool, but at the same time, if you want to display this, it's just much easier getting the Gold Series set. It's a little more expensive, yes, obviously, but it's so much easier to store. It, you look, you can look at them all at once. It's just, it's better. It's got the banners, the black interior. You don't have to worry about the big packaging for the, the each card back. So I think it's more worth it in the Gold Series, but to each their own. Now, the Petty family was, like, pretty much way before my time. I don't really remember a whole lot of the Petty's uh, paint schemes, numbers, whatever. Uh, so this one here, this is Adam Petty. we got a nice little paint scheme here. Looks like that 45 on the side is unbelievably small. Uh, so, you know, there's that, I guess. So Adam Petty, that's kind of cool to see. Not, not really a lot to say. you got the 75th anniversary or I guess, yeah, 75 Years of Racing logo on the, uh, uh, not the front, I mean, kind of the front, the hood, and the side above the wheel well, back of that quarter panel. I mean, it's just, it's just the same thing. I mean, it, it's just the same thing they've done before. Which, I mean, it was kind of cool the first time, but now it's just kind of like, eh, uh, cool, I guess, you know? So that's, that's all I got for Adam. Got Kyle Petty in the number 42 paint scheme here, the red and uh, red and blue. Again, Petty, 75th anniversary, racing, whatever, on the hood and on that quarter panel or on the top of the quarter panel. It would be so much better if everybody just got together and made the actual paint schemes with the sponsorship. And I know not all of them can work out. But you can, I'm sure they have, still have access to a lot of these sponsors. It would be nice if they would just do that. You know, that would be great. It's just, I don't know, it's not worth, it's not worth it. I mean, who, who really cares, honestly? Like, it's cool, yeah, but not cool enough. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, they're going to sit on the pegs for months. Nobody's going to buy them. Like, who cares? Like, who cares? You know what I mean? The only reason I would get these is just for donors, because I'm, I'm kind of running low on some of my Gen, uh, Gen 7 cars, but you know what I mean? It's just like, why? Why, why, why? Why do these? These aren't... Not really... I, just, I, don't, I really don't think they're worth it. We got Lee Petty. This one's kind of cool, because uh, we actually, I believe, had a throwback to... Was, it, was this last year? Or 2022, uh, whenever, was it, who who was in the 42? Was it Ty Dillon in the 42? Somebody do a, did a throwback to this recently. So that was kind of cool to see. I mean, it's a very old style looking car. But at the same time, the old style cars don't belong on the Gen 7 bodies. It's just like, if I have the extra money to pick up this wave, I will review it, and I'll keep them for customs. Because, like, there's really no other point. I mean, though, I don't I don't see what is so special about... I mean, I get 75 years of, you know, Richard Petty and the family. That's cool, yeah. But, like, I don't think, I don't think there's just so much demand for it. Like, you could be using these resources into much 
bigger and better like releases, but they're kind of throwing these out, you know, just, it's just weird. And I feel like it's a very lazy attempt to kind of fill in all the waves for the year. Cause I think they, they don't have to, but their, uh, average or their goal is 12 a year. So like one a month, we are just getting fillers at this point. Like it's just, I don't know. Again, I don't think it's worth it. Mark Petty, I don't think that's a name I've seen. I don't know all the Petty family, to be honest. I know, how dare I, but this is the first time I have ever seen Mark Petty. Just a plain number 44 paint scheme with those logos on the front or on the hood and the side. That's it. Red and 44. That reminds me of the uh, the old days of when like Chastain uh, would run like the uh, the number 0... Uh, flex seal cars and Xfinity series. You guys remember that back like what 2018 maybe something like that. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it reminds me of. And I'm not really a fan. It's cool for the Xfinity Chastain cars, but I don't know here just a, a little a little bland honestly. Like I'm getting bored doing this because there's nothing to it. There's no excitement. There's no hype. I don't know this person. I don't know this driver. Don't know the paint scheme very irrelevant to kind of what I'm, you know, looking forward to seeing in these waves. This one is definitely I have not seen. Was this Mar Maurice Petty? Is that how you say that? Maurice, I believe. Uh, the 41 is just, it honestly looks like a Richard Petty car, but 41 instead of 43, so <laughs> no idea. I have no info on this guy or person. I don't know. I, I just, I don't I don't have any information. Like, I mean, the package is pretty. It's got that really nice blue to it, but I, just, I don't have any info on any of these drivers. I just, I don't. And that's what makes it so boring, and it's just, I don't have any info. It's just a blue number 41. It, it just looks generic. I mean, I, if I'm being honest, it looks like a great value version of whatever of that car. Richard Petty, here's one I'm familiar with. I actually had this die cast as a kid, I don't remember where I got it from, but this one's actually familiar. I, I like this one. It's got the red striping on the side and on the roof, hood, and deck lid. It probably goes down the back, too. But I remember this paint scheme. Finally, one I can actually recognize that not that's not just a bright blue number 43 Petty car. Um, I don't remember what year this is. I wish they had the years underneath because it just says Richard Petty. Um, oh, God, who else was it? Maurice Petty. Uh, just... It didn't have any, like, anything else. There was no date of the car, no nothing. I mean, that was just, it's just this. That is all it is. But I do remember, uh, recognize this car because, again, I had the the die cast a while back. Uh, so this one's a little cooler than the other one. So there's something to kind of look forward to. That's, that's kind of nice. But, I mean, it's still no really relevance as the why I would get one. Richie Petty. This one just looks like a back marker car. Uh, number 53, got a white base car with a red number. Honestly, you could just, like, make your own cars. Like, if you have, like, a, a stop motion series and you don't care about the door number being in the middle, you could easily take this car and make it your own. So, like, if you get, uh, what, I got a bottle down here. If you get, like, a nail polish remover bottle... And you get bot bot tool. I don't know why I said it like that. If you get a nail polish remover bottle with a Q tip, dip it in the in the in the liquid and lightly kind of like erase the logo on the hood and side because you can do that. That's how I remove a lot of my logos on like just certain diecast. Then you go have an all white car. You can put whatever you want on it, whatever decals you got laying around, or you can print off your own or draw on it, whatever. I mean, and that's really the only thing I could think of for this being a good use. This one does have a liquid color chase piece. Uh, this is the Adam Petty car. I don't think the Gold Series has that. I'm going to double check. Because I should look at it on K-State. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this is a... The whole pack for it online with the Gold Series is $88. $88 on the dot. We've got Maurice, Lee, Mark, 
Richard, Kyle, Adam, Richie, and the 75 Years of Racing. So I'm pretty sure that was what we had in this wave. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that sounds about right. And there is no liquid color in here. So this is that's kind of the only cool thing about this one is that it does have a Adam Petty exclusive for the liquid color. So that is kind of nice. I might have to uh, try to search for that one because, I mean, scalpers are still probably going to get their hands on it and resell it. But I'm really not that interested in it, honestly. Okay, uh, checking the comments, seeing what we got here. A lot of people are going to like, uh, not like this one. Uh, original Big Bryce said, wow, I totally did not see this coming. What a wave. Um, yeah, basically, just summing that up as a joke, basically. It's just not, I mean, I don't, you know, it's just, it's just not good, not good, not good. And it's weird. We got wave five before wave four, I think, is how that worked. Uh, let's see. Double L, boring. Yeah, definitely. Maybe drop some actual cars and stop doing cars from the past on a stupid next-gen body. Start some throwback waves, but keep them separate from the regular waves. Absolutely. Around what wave? We'll see the Mustangs. It's not really important. My local uh, store's pegs are still stuck with the Hendrick 40 Years wave. I haven't even seen that one. Tired of the sponsorless cars. Honestly, I am too. Um, why is it so hard to understand? They are doing what they can while waiting on the new Ford and Toyota bodies. You people complain about everything. Good Lord. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get that, but we don't want this. Like, it's just, I just, I mean, if we can do anything else, really. I mean, I, I get it. Now that they say that, that kind of makes sense. But at the same time, I feel like they do this anyway. Um, miss when they just called these special waves so that we can get our actual waves. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. Can't wait for 17 Mar uh, Maurice Petties to sit on the shelves for a year. Yeah, honestly. Um, that's it. I don't really see a whole lot of other comments. But I don't see a lot of positive comments going on here. Yeah, there's like sleeping emojis. Not really a whole lot. There's there's this one guy defending uh G dot men twenty one twenty one on Instagram is defending these die cast pretty hard as if his life depends on it. So I don't know, I guess there is a couple fans out there that likes these, but you know, eh, it is what it is, no big deal. But anyway, we're actually going to review the other Wave, Wave 4, which I don't know why we got it before or after, I guess, Wave 5, but it is what it is. That was all for this Wave. Uh, let me know what you think. I really don't think it's worth getting unless I'm running out of donors, and I would help my Walmart too because they're just going to sit on the shelves anyway, so I might as well buy them and use them and get them off the shelves. So, I don't know. That's just kind of my opinion, but with that being said, that'll be all for this Wave preview. I almost said review, not a review, a preview. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.